from Wali, China. What does Xi Jinping's new approach to America mean? Chinese President Xi Jinping gave a clear signal that he's now ready to stand up to America. New, to America. Chinese President Xi Jinping has given a clear signal that he's now in the mood to join America's hands. According to diplomacy experts, the statement he gave on Tuesday gave a clear glimpse of his new style. And I'm looking at this uh, translation here. This may be a little rough. I'll try my best to modify. Z had so far avoided criticizing America by naming it directly, but now he has changed his stance. Z accused the United States of trying to suppress China and hinder its development. Z made the claim while addressing a meeting of the country's top political advisory body. China's official news agency Xinhua has published his speech. The American newspaper Wall Street Journal has said in a report that Xi's been criticizing America by taking its name in the internal meetings of the Chinese Communist Party, but when the Chinese media published those speeches, the anti-American comments were deleted. But this time, Xinhua... This time, Xinhua has made those parts public as well. Now in public speeches, Xi used hints of specific countries to target the United States. U.S. experts have noticed that Xi's speech, now public, contained Cold War, t Cold War terminology. In this regard, Xi has directly criticized the aggressive stance being adopted by the United States regarding trade technology, geopolitical influence, and the Ukraine war. Shortly before this speech on Monday, the American magazine Foreign Policy organized a discussion on relations between the United States and China. Professor Jessica Chen Weiss, former Cornell University, or from Cornell University, who was an advisor to the U.S. State Department, said in this regard that it has now become very difficult to reduce the tension between the two countries, although both countries also have opportunities to reduce the conflict. He said that a tit-for-tat approach is of no interest to anyone, but after Xi's latest speech, it's understood that the relationship between the two countries has taken a new turn. Shirley Marty, a fellow at the Atlantic Council think tank in Washington, told the Wall Street Journal that Xi is increasingly consolidating his power. In the meantime, it's possible that they're trying to blame other problems, including economic ones, on someone else. It's possible that he targeted America in this effort. However, analysts have noted that China's foreign ministry has already been using the words that Xi has now said. A spokesperson A spokesperson for China's foreign ministry has claimed that the United States is trying to contain or encircle China. China's diplomatic chief Wang Yi and Foreign Minister Qi Kang have also given such statements. Despite this, the use of these words by Xi Jinping has been considered important according to analysts. According to analysts, the statement will also be understood to mean that Xi has warned his countrymen to be prepared for a ward-like situation. And from Press TV, U.S.-China uh, tensions. In a rare direct criticism of the U.S. President, Xi Jinping has accused we Western countries led by Washington of implementing all-around containment, encirclement, and suppression of China. His commitments follow a warning by the country's foreign minister, who called on the U.S. to change its reckless attitude towards China, warning it would provoke conflict. And from Axios, China warns of path to confrontation and conflict with U.S. The U.S. and China are on a path towards conflict and confrontation unless the U.S. changes course, Chinese Foreign Minister Ken Gang warned Tuesday at a press conference. Why it matters. Tensions between China and the U.S., which spiked in 2022, soured further last month after a high-altitude surveillance balloon sent by the Chinese government was discovered flying over the U.S., President Biden has repeatedly claimed that while the U.S. seeks to compete with China, it does not wish for conflict. Ken threw cold water on the U.S. position, claiming that the U.S. so-called competition amounted to total containment and suppression. If the U.S. side does not hit the brakes but continues to speed down the wrong path, no amounts of guardrails can prevent derailing or crash, and there will be conflict and confrontation, Ken said at the press conference. 
National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby pushed back on Kent's assessment during a press briefing later Tuesday, saying that nothing about the administration's approach to U.S.-China relations should lead anybody to think that we want conflict. With all due respect to the Chinese foreign minister, there's no change to the United States posture when it comes to this bilateral relationship, Kirby added. The big picture. Ken's remarks echo Chinese President Xi Jinping address to political delegates on Monday, in which Xi accused the U.S. of instigating a policy of containment, encirclement, and suppression of China. The U.S. warned last month that China was considering sending lethal aid to Russia, Ken defended the country's close relationship, saying that together China and Russia set an example for global foreign relations and a driving force for the world, per The Guardian. And from Press Wire 18, President Chinese Xi Jinping has alleged that the U.S. is leading Western countries to block China's progress. Uh, The title of this one is, Will Jinping Openly Support Russia? Now, he said, America is stopping the progress of China. According to a report in Hong Kong's South China Morning Post, Jinping said the Western countries, under the leadership of the U.S., have tried to encircle China from all sides, which has presented serious challenges to the country's development. Significantly, the U.S. has stepped up its action against giant Chinese technology companies like Huawei, Apart from the European Union, the U.S. has asked authorities to remove Chinese social media app TikTok from their phones to ensure the security of their phone data. During a discussion on the sidelines of the annual parliament session on Monday, the Chinese president said that, in the view of the country's development, the external environment has changed rapidly and there's been a great increase in uncertainty, unpredictable factors. Challenges may increase for China. The risks and challenges we face will only increase and become more serious in the future, he said. A major agenda for the Parliament session is to chalk out a strategy to reduce the dependence on the U.S. A part of the plan, the Chinese government on Sunday proposed increasing spending on research by 2% to $328 billion in 2023. That's $47 billion in American money. Deepening gap between two big com- uh, economies, China's new foreign minister has warned that any stagnation in relations is at risk due to rising tensions between U.S. and China. It's showing that the divide between the world's two largest economies is deepening. The U.S. claims it wants to beat China but does not see conflict. Foreign Minister Ken Gang said at his first news briefing on Tuesday after taking office late last year, Russia-Ukraine war extending invisible hand. Ken said an invisible hand was responsible for the escalation of the war in Ukraine but did not specify who he was referring to. Ken said an invisible hand is using the crisis in Ukraine to fulfill some geopolitical agenda. Jinping has spoken with his counterpart several times since the start of the Russia-Ukraine war last year, but he's not talked to the Ukrainian president even once, according to Kiev's top diplomat in Beijing. This undermines China's claim of neutrality. The Rise of Xi Jinping's China Former National Security Advisor Stephen J. Hadley on the risk of competing turning into confrontation, a dispatch question and answer. The Chinese Communist Party's hardening at home and expanding influence abroad have brought the Washington-Beijing relationship to a modern nadir, increasing the risk of dangerous and destructive conflict. Current Chinese President Xi Jinping is a central driver of eroding relations, yet some of China's problematic behavior precedes his rise a decade ago, as evidenced in the new book, Hand Off the Foreign Policy George W. Bush Passed to Barack Obama. Edited by former National Security Advisor Stephen J. Hadley, the volume compiles once-classified transition memoranda prepared by the outgoing Bush administration in 2008. Despite being prepared by outgoing administration officials 15 years ago, the document shed light on the concerning trajectory an emergent China has taken. And from the Daily Saba, China warns against U.S. oppression, defends Russia ties. China has demanded a U.S.-led suppression of the country could lead to conflict as it defended close ties with Russia was not a threat to any country. Um, Watch this space. We'll be right back.
China's technology ambitions have been hit with a raft of restrictions by the United States and its Western allies, and Beijing has doubled down on the need to shift away from imports for sectors perceived as vital to national security, such as semiconductors and artificial intelligence. Washington has, in recent months, tightened sanctions on Chinese chip makers, citing national security concerns and the risk of the technology being used by China's military. In a rare direct criticism of the U.S., Z told industry leaders that Western countries led by the United States have implemented all-round containment, encirclement, and suppression of China, which has brought unprecedented severe challenges to our country's development. Z, who will be granted a third constructive or consecutive presidential term in the coming days at the highly choreographed National Party Congress, said the past five years have been riddled with a new set of hurdles that's threatened to weigh down China's economic rise. According to the state-run Xinhua news agency, Z, Z said China must have the courage to fight as the country faces profound and complex challenges in both the domestic and international landscape. In the address to delegates at the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, which runs alongside the NPC, the 69-year-old said private firms should take the initiative to pursue high-quality development. Xinhua reported late Monday. Earlier this week, Z vowed to bolster Chinese manufacturing capacity and said the country should be able to fend for itself. I've always said there are two critical areas for China. One is to safeguard our rice bowl and the other is to build up a strong manufacturing sector, he said. As a great nation of 1.4 billion people, we must rely on ourselves. We can't depend on international markets to save us. China's foreign minister, Ken Gang, later said the relationship between China and the U.S. needed to be based on mutual interests and friendships rather than U.S. domestic politics and hysterical neo-McCarthyism. In a wide-ranging press conference, former U.S. Ambassador Ken dismissed warnings from Western countries that China may supply arms to Russia for its war in Ukraine, saying it would not accept blame-shifting sanctions, suppressing, and threats targeting Beijing. China last month released a position paper outlining its stance on the Ukraine conflict, portraying itself as a neutral party, and urged the two sides to enter peace negotiations. Beijing's claim to neutrality has been questioned by the U.S. and other Ukrainian allies, with Russia and China describing their bilateral relationship as having no limits just weeks before the invasion. Ken said China was neither a creator of the crisis nor a party to it, and it has not provided weapons to any party, adding, peace talks should start as soon as possible. Beijing's relationship with Moscow is not a threat to any country in the world, he said. Ken also reiterated the official line that China would maintain the option of taking all necessary actions to reclaim Taiwan. He warned against underestimating the strong determination, the firm will, and powerful ability of the Chinese government and Chinese people to defend national sovereignty and territorial integrity. And from Benzinga, Xi Jinping's Xi Jinping's minister warns of U.S. catastrophic consequences if Washington continues on wrong path. Xi Jinping, minister who was promoted to power two months ago, held his first annual press conference as foreign minister of the People's Republic of China. During the meeting with the media, he warned the U.S. of catastrophic consequences if it continues on the wrong path. If the U.S. does not hit the brakes and continues on the wrong path, there will surely be conflict and confrontation, Gang said according to the South China Morning Post. Containment and suppression will not make America great and will not stop the rejuvenation of China. The Chinese minister also reiterated that the passage of a balloon over U.S. territory earlier this year was an unexpected incident. He also slammed the U.S. for overreacting, abusing the force, and dramatizing the incident. Gang, who previously served as the Chinese ambassador to the U.S., said the Americans he has met are just like the Chinese, friendly, kind, sincere, distinguishing them from U.S. politicians. The foreign minister questioned the U.S. stand on the Russia-Ukraine war while comparing it to Taiwan. Gang said Washington needs to explain his plan for the destruction of Taiwan. He added... The U.S. should not talk about sovereignty and territorial integrity over Ukraine if it does not respect China's sovereignty and territorial integrity.
and we'll be back with more news remember your engagement through a like share or subscribe will accelerate us at warp speed towards the continuation of our mission to truthfully go where no news will have been going before <laughs>